Hello everybody! Hello everybody! So... <sighs> Where have I been? In space. It doesn't matter, I'm still alive. And there you go, I'm delivering another video to you. I've said so many times that I will be back and the time has arrived. Finally. Thanks to my friend that has helped me finally create a little concept I had in my mind. I will be delivering it to you. And I'm pretty sure that you've heard or probably even watched the movie Alien. <laughs> if you haven't watched even the animated Ariel, this is not gonna make any sense. <laughs> okay, so while watching the animated movie Ariel, I've had so many questions and I could not connect a lot of dots. Or while I was watching the movie, my brain was constantly thinking, what if this did not happen? What if that did not happen? What if instead of this, this happened? And with the help of a friend, I created a continuation of alternate universes. And I will be presenting it to you on this video. Welcome to Alternative Scenario, Chapter Ariel. Okay, what if Ariel was a GTA prostitutka character. So let's watch it. Now, in this scenario, you remember how Ursula took Ariel's voice and when she went out to sea, she was not able to speak? Well, in this scenario, she can speak, but not like a human. It's a little bit bad, but, well, at least she can communicate with animal sounds. And more specifically, sea live animal sounds. Let's see how that would be like. Thanks, Billy, for your contribution to the lighting! What did you say? What? <laughs> On the next part, you know how in the movie, or more specifically in the animated movie, because I've not really watched the live version. <laughs> well, Ariel has her friends. She has the little fish. I don't remember his name. What was it? Was it Cod? Was it fling? It was... It was that thing, anyway. So she has the little fishy. She has Sebastian. And she has the little seagull. And the seagull is basically showing her that she's supposed to be wearing something. She can all be just prancing and dancing around with, your little, with her little booty hanging outside, you know? <coughs> and... They find the, the sheets from a boat, from a wreck, and they basically, the seagull makes it as a skirt for Ariel, and she wears Slay! it. So Prince Eric does not see her little booty hanging out and dangling. So in this scenario, I will be showing you how it would have been if she did not have those friends, and she was unaware of what nudity was. No! Don't! The, the other 
On this part, well, we'll see Ariel a little bit different. <laughs> I'm pretty sure nobody else has expected her to be doing drugs and stuff. And seeing how strict her father was, I think it would be something that I would expect for a child to do. You know, a little bit of rebellion, doing a little bit of a so, she just escaped the sea to be able to do the Z, you know? Let's watch it. I escaped the sea. To get away from my father, he did not let me smoke with Zaz, you know? On the next part, you'll see a recreation of Ariel flipping her hair in real life. No CGI, no nothing, baby. Just a wig yeah. and a little bit of talent. And a rock and some water. 2,000 years later. And I specifically had to go to a place to find that setting. And it took me quite a while. And... <laughs> well, those were my little alternative scenarios of what could have actually happened if some little details could have been changed in the Ariel movie. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you loved it, and I'm a, when I'm saying loved it, I mean with passion. With passion. With the full meaning of the word. Comment down below. Give this video as many likes as possible. But just click the like button once because if you click it twice, then the like is gone down the toilet. Share it. And if you have any suggestions, feel free to suggest. It's Kahuna. And I'll see ya. And I don't even know when, but it will be on the next video. Bye bye, baby. Woo!